Congratulations. I'm good. Um, thank you. Thank you, Miss Leanne. I, I've been doing a lot of things in my first day of being Miss Universe Philippines. So there's a lot of things to prepare for the competition. And actually right now, uh, it hasn't sink yet. Like I've been trying to like feel that momentum, that rush, mm -hmm. because up until now, I can't believe that I won. <laughs> you can't believe you won, Bakit? Because I started as, you know, as the underdog. Nobody, you know, would know my name and I was new in the pageant industry. Actually, this is my first ever national pageant. And mm. actually, there's no much of a pressure when it comes to my journey because, you know, the expectations of the people around me were, weren't that high. And mm -hmm. now that I was able to snatch the crown, I feel like, you know, it's a combination of hard work and at the same time, destiny. So yeah. during that night, you know, the stars were aligned for me. Rabia, so taping yung finals, di ba? Uh, lima kayong binigyan yeah. ng corona. So you only found out this morning while you were watching the pageant kung sino yung nanalo, tama? Tama ba? Let, let's see. So yung ibang tao, they already knew na I was the winner, but um, I was still watching, parang nasa production number pala ako, then parang almost pa swimmer na. And then I realized na nung nag-message yung um, kibigan ko na she said na you won. Kakanood ka lang sa Empire, you won. And sabi ko, ayoko mo nang maniwala, baka kasi iba yung video na nalili. Oh, so, tama. Um, when I realized na nanalo na talaga ako, I was really crying because Miss Diane, you know what, I offered the success to my single mother and lahat siguro ng mga doubts ko in the past, lahat ng pagsusumikap, parang ngayon nakuha ko na talaga yung resulta and I'm very happy and I'm very honored. Rabia, I noticed you in the preliminary because you really kind of stood out there, pero you, you weren't really a, a favorite, di ba? You weren't like a yeah. favorite going yeah. into the pageant. So parang there was no pressure on you and you were just giving your best, no? Did you, your, yes, what's your goal? True. I mean, but in your mind, naisip mo ba na kaya kong kunin yung corona? Or ano ba yung, yung goal mo coming into the, to the pageant? What, what were your expectations of yourself? I've always wanted to win. However, sinasabi ko talaga sa sarili ko, I don't put that much pressure. But sinasabi ko lang na gagalingan ko na lang sa preliminary. And my goal, honestly, was to reach top five. Sabi ko top five, I'm very happy na. But God is so good, He gave me the universe, the Miss Universe Philippines crown. Yeah, grabe. So, nalaman mo na nung tapos na yung panonood nyo. That's when you really... Rabia, I wanted to ask you um, your story about, you know, your family. So, your mom raised you um, alone, correct? Yeah, that's true. Oh, I we were abandoned when I was uh, around five years old. So I have a younger brother, same dad, same mom, and then my mom was the only person who raised the both of us. And yun nga Miss Dayan, since um we're a broken family, hindi talaga ma uh, saya yung buhay. I can say hindi siya smooth, kasi maraming problems, especially when it comes to finances. That's why at the early age, naging breadwinner of ako ng family. While being a full scholar, I was doing modeling and some gigs just to earn money para pang baon ko lang. That's why, yun nga misen, I'm very much passionate about education kasi when I graduated cum laude, sabi ko talaga, this is my gift to my mom. And oh. yung sasagot ko din, um, I actually said during the free So what have you been doing since that time? Like since 12, since 12 noon today? Actually, I already had a meeting with the um, board of directors and some of the members of Miss Universe organization. They congratulated me na. And then at the same time, we had um, dinner with the staff here in Baguio Country Club. So I've been talking to Miss Shamsi. She's been um, telling me a lot of advices, how to handle the pressure now that the crown is, you know, on top of your head. Uh, it's very difficult to balance because Miss then, um, no matter how much you dream of having the crown, pag nasa sa'yo na hindi ka pa rin talaga uh, ready, hindi ka pa rin talaga sigurado paano mo gagawin, 
yung role mo as mm-hmm. Miss Universe Philippines. Pero ngayon, um, I'm open to suggestions. That's why, sabi nga ni Mama Jay, I should have an open communication between me and the team kasi ngayon, we're one family na talaga. Yeah. How difficult was it to prepare for the pageant amidst the pandemic that we're going through? Mahira po, Miss Diane. You know what? I need to like give up a lot of things. First is my work. So during, even before the pandemic, um, wala na po akong work. So during um, the process, the journey, nahihirapan ako in terms of finances, you know, kasi hindi naman po biro mag-join sa isang pageant. Plus yung, iba kasi yung virtual lang yung trainings, dun din nahihirapan din ako. Like with my pasarela, I need to do it alone. I need to take a video of myself walking and I would send it to my trainer and he would give some feedbacks. So everything was virtual. So, yun yung challenge dun eh. How can I adopt to the new normal? Plus, the pressure of being the representative of Iliilo City. What can I also do to, you know, become the symbol of hope for the city of love? And 